All right, judges, our bladesmith's <clears throat> weapons have been tested. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. We're gonna start with Josh's blade. Josh has the nicest finish of all the knives. I also think he has the nicest handle. That antler chop is brutal. That's something that I like to use personally to test the edges on my knives, and uh, we didn't hold back at all. He's got wrinkling and chipping. However, it did not inhibit this knife in the apple cut. Based on what we asked him to do, he pulled it off like a master bladesmith. All right, let's move on to Mariko's blade. And Doug, because Mariko was your pick, I'm gonna let you start this off. Come to Papa. It's a stunning piece. You can see the Damascus pattern he's got that he brought out. You can see the design that he's got of his blade. It's beautiful. When you pick this up, it is light. It's almost like it's not there. Now, the feel of the cut over here almost just glides seamlessly. I like the way he put his handle. It's nice and clean. No gaps whatsoever around the handle. He did a great job normalizing and strengthening his blade. Jay, go ahead and pick up David's blade. Tell us what you think. Yeah, after David's accident two years ago, this is his first knife since that point in time. This handle is a huge consideration for me. I mean, it's still functional. It'll still cut, but I got to admire Dave's spirit and his drive. All right, gentlemen, it's that time. Doug, have you made your final decision? Yes, I have. Jay? Yes. Dave? Yep. You? Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, let's go tell our Smiths.